What's going on guys, Chris Reddick here, and today is the same day as yesterday. I'm editing the video right now. If you guys haven't watched yesterday's video, definitely go click up in the corner. I think this is the right corner, I hope it is. But before this video starts, I just wanted to tell you to go down to the link below. Get your junk merch right here. We got junk lanyards, we got ruddy fresheners, we have anything that you want. Nah, not really, we got fresheners, we got lanyards, and we have a bundle pack. Um, If you want one, pick it up, it's in the description, and let's work in the car. Oh man, oh man, so we have a lot of work to do right now. All right, so we're at the shop. We got the CRX in the shop for the first time ever. Hey, how you doing, baby? Welcome to the family. Um, we have a lot of mods to do before we leave for the firm racetrack tonight. I have a four and a half hour drive to my hotel. My plan is to leave tonight, get to the hotel, sleep, wake up super early in the morning, and run this car all day long. I have a truck in the trailer. Everyone's telling me to put the CRX on the trailer, but that's not the purpose of this build. The purpose of this build is to be able to daily the hell out of this thing, have fun with it, man. Drive it as hard as you want and at the end of the day, just go home. So we're really gonna be testing that theory today. It's good because we're not even gonna be using this D15. I'm pretty sure these are D15s, but the 1.5, we're not gonna be using it. So worst comes to worst, something does happen and I just have to pay someone to come get me. Not too big of a deal, but we're definitely off to a good start. So the first mod that I want to do to this, it's not huge, I just wanna do it because currently, uh, the head unit is super outdated. All it has is an aux cord and it's an old Sony one. Honestly, if it had the OEM radio, I would think twice about doing this just because I wanna keep the interior as clean as possible. But the fact that it has kind of like a janky head unit in it right now, I went ahead and I got a JVC. This thing was um, 50 bucks at Best Buy. It was on sale and I think they're usually 80, but it's perfect because it has Bluetooth. It just connects right to your phone. I can play music in the four and a half trip. Oh, it gets even better. So we're going to the firm four and a half hours away. We get out at five. Hopefully everything goes good there. And then if you guys watched yesterday's video, you know that Courtney won the race and I promised her a dog if I lost. So we're driving four more hours the other way. We're going towards Alabama at this point, all the way near Tallahassee. So we have quite a journey with the little CRX. And I'm gonna tell you what, I couldn't be more excited. I wouldn't drive any other car. This thing is so much fun to drive. It's only making 49 horsepower and this thing is an absolute blast. So well, I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna start to take the interior off. I did read some of your guys' comments, like be very careful touching the interior, like things can be delicate. Yes, it's an 89. So this process is gonna take me quite some time. I'm not even gonna film it. I just wanna get this radio in because you gotta listen to music when you're driving, you know? All right, so for all you CRX guys that said this was gonna be hard, this was probably the easiest center console I ever take, taken apart. Probably got it apart in about 35 seconds. Already splicing some new wires for the radio. If you wanna flip that key real quick, it works. Uh, it, it, it's gonna work, oh, there, there it is, so. Works with the key, if you shut the key off, it's all good to go. And so I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put this all back together and I'll be able to bump wherever the hell I am. Oh man, I'm driving the CRX home right now in this stereo system, absolutely bumps. Um, actually, the two front speakers, they weren't working, so we took them all apart and they actually, I guess the wires were cut for whatever reason, I don't really know, but we spliced them back together and the sound system is awesome, super pumped. Love and daily in this car so far. If you have an opportunity to get a CRX, just get one. Oh yeah, Madden, we're racing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Today is the next day of this video. We officially have a few hours before we need to leave for the track day because the track day is four and a half hours away. I love waking up and seeing this car every single day. You know I care about it because I put the sun protector in it. I don't actually know what these are called, but this sun protector was made for this car, so I'm pretty pumped on that. Go to the shop. <sighs> like a glove every time. Hell yeah. Need some last minute front brakes because you can't go to a track day with used brakes. So we're at AutoZone right now. I ordered them last night. Um, I tried to get the best pad they had. They had some like Brembo pads and stuff and just some normal rotors. So it's gonna be a lot better than what we're dealing with now. <sighs> rod knock luck strikes again. This is actually rod knock luck here. So I ordered Brembo pads from AutoZone last night. They told me it was gonna be here in the morning. Something went wrong, big years, and they're not gonna be here until Monday. Canceled the order. We had to end up going with the Dirt Last Gold. It's cool, there's still ceramic and stuff and official brakes of NASCAR. NASCAR can run them, so can I. Man, we're not off to a good start. I'm already 0-2, so 
They didn't have my Brembo pads, and they didn't have my orange Red Bull, so we're running the green one today. I stopped drinking Red Bulls every day. I figured it was kind of bad for you, but um, you know, on occasions, I want my Red Bull. So I guess we're rocking the green one. I actually read one of your guys' comments in Connecticut, and someone said, get the green one. I tried it, and now it's my second favorite, so thank you. All right, guys, so we're back at the shop now, and I really can't decide what I want to do. So this car, this EF, it has Yonaka coilovers. Yes, I know they're not the best. Yes, we're definitely not going to be using them forever, but I don't know if I want to put them on for the track. This car has H&R Springs with Coney struts. I want to say those are better than the Yonaka coilovers, but at the same time, I just don't know. Um, I'm gonna go for a drive right now. I'm really gonna try to make this thing rub pretty hard. I'm gonna like do the body roll test to see how much body roll we have and everything, and then from there decide what I wanna do. It's just because I wanna try to make this car the best for tomorrow, and I just don't know what the best is. Yonaka, I've never even heard of that. It sounds eBay is hell to me. Or the H&R, which I think is a reputable brand. The Coney struts, those are good as well. So we're just gonna go rage it real quick. Let's see what happens. We're about to do the rub test. We're in second gear. Let's take this corner. So we're, we're already rubbing a little bit right there. Take this, turn. Yeah, we're rubbing pretty bad. Take that. No brake. It handles really well though. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, we're taking this fast. Are you, okay. Dude, this thing's gonna be a monster on the track tomorrow. <laughs> this thing gets down as fuck. <laughs> wow. You smell the rubber, though. Yeah, of course I do. All do right. we just need to roll the fenders, though? I don't want to do that. We don't have good experience with the fender rolling, Marcus. No break. No break, dude. We're in 50 horsepower, baby. <laughs> Honestly, I am so excited for tomorrow. This thing absolutely rips so good. But what do you think? Do you think we should put the coilovers in? Because that's some bad rub, dude. I mean, I just don't know if it's going to fix the rubbing or not. That's my issue. Like, I mean, worse comes to worse, I guess I can lift it a little bit. But at the same time, that's going to create more body roll, right? Yeah. <sighs> like, how bad is this? Like... That's pretty bad, right? Yeah, I hear it. Ah! Yeah. Such a sick tire and wheel setup, but it rubs! If we could roll them, like, good, it would be perfect. Yeah. But I'm terrified of rolling fenders. I oh, know. That's not my porte. Forte? Porte? Forte. Porque. That's please, right? In yeah. Spanish? Porque, Mark? I will learn that from Zoe 101. <laughs> you ready to feel 50 horsepower? We're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going. Woo! Taking this corner. A little bit of understeer, but we're good. I mean, we took that at like 45. Fucking a right angle. This is gonna be a sick track car. I can't wait for the B series, but right now we can deal with this one five junk or oh, glass, glass everywhere. We don't want another pop tire, boys. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'll let you know when I decide. How bad's the rub, dude? Ooh, yeah. No, for sure. Dang. This is like the real sketchy part right here. Oh, because it's rusty right there? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think I think the best thing right now is to put the coilovers in. I mean, we'll go for another drive. If we have to raise it a tiny bit, that's what we're going to do. Because i rather not roll the fenders today i rather once this goes to tommy the painter we fix all the rust and stuff and then he can just roll the fenders there he would roll the fenders before the paint exactly and then we'll be done with it this all, will all be painted this will all be new and we won't have to worry about any sort of rub issues again so yeah. technically if something does happen to get messed up here other than the tire this is all getting replaced anyways because i have the the patch panels they gave me the patch panels to actually oh, cut really? this out and re-weld it in That's sick. so all the rust will be deleted soon, as you guys know. If you raise the back, too, it's going to be just a little bit more downforce as rake. Yeah. I kind of want to make it as even as possible. Yeah, I guess we really have no choice because, I mean, those were some pretty wide turns. So it's like, 
I think the tighter it gets, the more we're gonna rub. And there's, there's really fast parts of the firm and there's really slow technical parts. So I think we're gonna have to do this. Damn, 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 damn. Okay guys, so we came to the conclusion that I don't think we're gonna be running the Yonakas because we just did this bounce test. Go ahead, Marcus, bounce on this. These are the H&R springs. You know, not too bad. It comes back up, it settles. This thing, straight up bounce house over here, dude. Bounce house, look at this. Dude could almost bottom out the car. There's no motor in there. I think there's no motor in there. So. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe we're doing tests wrong, but I don't feel comfortable. Okay, another reason why I don't want to do the Yonakas is this car right now has a perfect, 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 perfect alignment. And if we mess with the coilovers, we won't have that perfect alignment anymore. And who knows, we might even still rub. And I don't think the rub is that bad. I mean, we're not gonna damage anything other than the tire and it's just the sidewall. I don't think we're gonna be, I mean, we're, we're gonna be going that hard, but I don't I don't think anything's gonna happen out of it. And it's not a spare, a spare tire. Yeah. I guess I'll have to bring one, but I don't really think it matters. Yeah, I have brand new steelies. Oh, just, but, just bring two. Yeah. I don't know, I think it's a smart decision not to do the coilovers today, just because we know this thing handles great. Like, I just boogied over there and the thing handled like butter. Handled like butter, it handled like a glove. We're just gonna roll with it, man. We're gonna put this thing on the lift. We're gonna put the um, brake pads and new rotors on. And we, sh we should do an oil cooler today, just to be safe because at the track day, you get 20 minutes at a time. So you're just pushing this car to the limit for 20 minutes straight. Obviously oil is gonna get hot and stuff. So an oil cooler will be great to have. So let's just get this on the lift and stop talking. All right, so this is the first time that the CRX is on the lift. For everyone that says the quarter, if the quarter panels were rusted, everything else is going to be, it looks honestly pretty minty up here other than, I mean, the gas tank's got a tiny, tiny bit of rust. Um, I mean, the control arms look pretty good. There's some more gas tank rust, which isn't that big of a deal to me. Um, really, really, really minimal rust here, which isn't bad. We're, ooh, ooh, crash bar is looking a little dirty, but crash bar is pretty easy to replace. The actual frame of the car is good. The crash bar is just kind of rusted out there. But look at this fucking pea shooter exhaust, man. I bet you, you we'd gain like eight horsepower just letting this thing breathe a little more, but I don't like straight pipe Tondas. This is my most exciting thing right here because obviously this thing is not going to be stocked forever and I'm probably looking at at least 50 bucks in a cat right here. Oh, cool. The oil filter is right there. So the oil cooler is going to be pretty easy. So what I'm thinking is obviously we're going to put a little sandwich plate right there to run two lines and we're probably going to end up taking the bumper off and putting the oil cooler right there so it can get the maximum air going through it and it'll be pretty good. Wow, this thing has a full radiator and everything. I'm pretty impressed. But yeah, I mean, as far as rust goes, look, yeah, look at these springs. Ooh, and it's got some nice camber arms up there as well. That's pretty cool. That's definitely not eBay. Yeah, this thing looks pretty good. I'm pretty stoked on it. I'm, I'm actually more than pretty stoked on it, to be honest. But yeah, this thing's coming along pretty good. We are going to drain the oil right now. I need to get the wheels off so we can do the rotors and pads and we're gonna start the oil cooler. So I'm over here trying to give this car some love, right? And someone already gave her so much love. So here is the old brake pad right here. So you can see she's a pretty thick boy compared to the new one. So I mean, these were definitely recently changed. I mean, I'm still gonna put these ceramic pads on it just to be safe and just to have brand new brakes as well. We got the old ro rotor there, but we also have some new rotors just so I can have the ultimate stopping power. Right, Roberto? I like it. I like your shirt. Thanks, dude. Hell yeah. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna finish putting the brakes on and then that portion will be done. I'm not gonna lie, I can't count the amount of times HP has saved my ass. So I had Roberto order this for me. If you go to horsepowerlogic.com, they can literally get any single thing you want for car parts. All you have to do is email them and they also have a ton of stuff in their store and in stock at HP Logic itself. They got Walbro fuel pumps, they got Tomei fuel pressure regulators, they have blow off valves, waste gates, AEM gauges, cam gears, haul techs, they have timing belts, turbo elbows, they have oil caps, radiator caps, like, I'm stoked on these because I actually look on eBay for those sometimes to buy and it's cool because I can just come here and buy it and I don't have to wait for anything like that. Super fast shipping with them and everything. If you guys need Redline gear oil and stuff, they have all this stuff in stock. I just really wanted to show you guys this because they really do have a crazy inventory now. And I thank you Florida guys and anyone that just wants to support HP will really appreciate this. They even have 
the Haltech digital dashes. A lot of people don't even have those in stock, and they do. Pod filters, and they even have like this Greddy boost controller. They have just a bunch of stuff in stock, so if you guys want to go to the website, if they don't have something on the website, just email Roberto, and he'll get it for you ASAP. Just wanted to show you guys that, because I personally ordered this from Roberto, and it came here literally next day, so I'm pumped. Without him, I wouldn't be able to be able to put this in my car today. Okay, so the CRX right now is getting a little bit of a makeover, so we got the front bumper completely off, couple bolts, couple screws, now no big deal. Brakes are all done, we're so legit that we even used the lube. Gotta lube her up because she was a little salty. Um, Roberto is trying to figure out the best location to mount this and we're trying to mount it somewhere where when we do the B-Series, we can kind of re reuse this location. I think we're good because if, if you have a booster, I think there's still enough room here to make it you know, good work. And also, this is so easy to move around. You can yeah, and around. it's gonna look sick right there too. Good. Yeah, you'll definitely see this do that. Well, so. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I'm into it. I like, I like this place and what do you think? Yeah, no, I think it's good. We just need make to make little, some brackets. I'll make a little bracket, we'll hold it there, and we're good. Yeah, and then I won't have to worry about overheating or making my oil too thin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is good too, because usually what the biggest issue people have with these things is they don't realize that they put it somewhere mm -hmm. where like something's rubbing through the fins or it's rubbing through a radiator, AC yeah. sensor. So we got enough room back there. More than enough, yeah. yeah. So we'll just do a little like a rubber hose to insulate it, like mm -hmm. on this edge so it can't rub through, and I think this is perfect. Hell yeah, I'm pumped on it. So part of the harness was actually bolted to the strut tower right here. So we're gonna put the relocation kit for now, just right there. Let me get that out of your way. What we'll do later is we'll remove this and actually just run this on top and just zip tie it along so it looks like it's supposed to be there. Yeah, no, for sure. Keep it clean. But yeah. I think it's a good spot because that limits all of the lines and everything and I think it looks pretty clean right here. I think it looks like a glove. Doesn't it look like a glove, dude? Got that purple, shout out Carlos. So Roberto actually thought of a really good idea to see where the quarter panel is actually rubbing. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna put painter's tape on both sides of the rear because the front doesn't rub. Um, he thinks it's rubbing right here on this little plastic tab, which if he's right, I'm gonna be so happy because we can kind of just take a little Dremel and we can lightly just grind this down right here. Um, we don't really see, I mean, uh, that's a tire mark right there, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, like I said, I mean, I'm just thinking this because it's just sticking out so far. Uh -huh. That doesn't mean it's not rubbing there, but that's what the tape's for. Once yeah. we do that, we'll know, and then, yeah. So I'm just gonna tape the whole quarter panel, and then after we are done installing the oil cooler, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go for a quick rip and really see where she's rubbing. Is there a spacer? I think there is a tiny spacer. What is it, too. washers, dude? I don't know, but you see how that gap right there? That's a huge gap, and it doesn't look like there's like a real spacer. Maybe. I'm gonna take it off and I'm look. I'm gonna take that off, and that might actually solve the rubbing issues all, all of that. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. So ironically, I was doing all this, taping all this, and the body guy just came in, and I actually just talked to him. What he said kind of make perfect sense. I can really do whatever I want to this right here, because at the end of the day, to cure this rust, to fix this rust completely, we're gonna be cutting this out, and we're gonna be welding this patch panel in the car. So when we actually do this one, what we'll do before we even install it, we can roll this straight flat to the back of the patch piece, because if you cut it, you lose like the integrity of the metal and um, it will just be floppy. But if you fold it over, it'll still have that strong point. You'll still have plenty of clearance inside the wheel well and you'll be good to go. So I guess we're just gonna figure out where it's rubbing. We're gonna light, oh, it's, it still hurts me to say because I, I literally hate rolling fenders. Rolling fenders has damaged my roadster. Rolling fenders dam damaged the Ricer Civic. I rather pay like money to have my fenders rolled. Like I paid money to have these rolled. They came out fantastic. I never had to worry about a thing. Not a body guy. I'm not body guy whatsoever because I get really impatient and things don't go well. I just start fucking banging at it. But anyways, this is all taped up, ready to go. So after we're done with the oil cooler, we'll go for a ride. Oh, and one more thing, I did take the wheel off to check for a spacer. There's actually not a spacer, but we were, what we were looking at was there's like two surfaces right here and it actually gets flush with this, but we were looking at the, the gap right here. So it didn't look like it was actually all the way to the drum. It kind of looked like there was a space. So it made me think that there was washers there, but thankfully there's nothing. All right, guys. Well, this took a little longer than expected. It's currently 6.45. It's almost seven o'clock. My plan was to have this video already done, already uploading so I can head to Arcadia where the firm is so I can go to my hotel, but it's seven o'clock, whatever. The car is completely done so we got the oil relocation right here i think it's a pretty sleek look we got the lines going in under the engine into back where the oil filter used to be to the other housing part we got the mishimoto chilling right here 
you can see that it's definitely sleek that thing is not moving we got that thing pretty secured and it leads to ultimate airflow other than this plate i'm leaving this plate on for a little bit just because there's like some backstory to this i don't i'll explain it a little but i i hopefully don't get it messed up but the dude that traveled with this car he went to like airplane school to be a pilot and he was flying in fort lauderdale and he ended up crashing into a building and he sadly passed away and this is his plate so the people that have been owning it have kind of just paid the respect of leaving the plate on and i figured i would do the same for a little bit but i i'm always going to keep this plate with this card no matter what and i think it's just a cool looking plate and i think it's cool to show that dude some respect but the car is done sadly i didn't get to like test drive it or anything to actually bend this up and stuff i don't really have enough time to do any of that i mean if it rubs it rubs it's not that big of a deal to me tires are replaceable we're replacing that quarter i did end up bringing some tools just in case like the rub is bad i got a mallet i got a bunch of tools in here we got a jack we got some distilled water we got the old rotors old brake pads we got a helmet for courtney a helmet for me in the truck which i have to grab and we're pretty ready to go i'm really excited that we're actually going to be driving this to the track driving it to get this dog and yeah we're getting the dog i know it's crazy but yeah guys i think we're going to end the video right here if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want to subscribe for more subscribe for more i think the crx has made decent progression for two days. I mean, we already have an oil cooler on it and everything. We're already going to a track date. We already dined with it. We're doing a lot and I'm really excited. So if you guys haven't picked up a junk lanyard, definitely go down in the bio below. If you haven't picked up an air freshener, definitely support the channel. They're only six bucks and just go to www.junkforless.net. But I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow on the road and on the racetrack. So peace out and hopefully we don't get stranded. Bye.